Okay, so this video tutorial is just going to show you how you can call on different strings, integers, and how you can also use a float, so how you can do a decimal. So what I'm going to do is I'll start off by commenting, so program will show the use of integers, floats, and strings. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up my float. a number so that will allow you to put some input in there then we'll have an integer integer and then we'll have our text which won't need to be declared there type in a string Now, what I want to do now is print this to the screen. So what I need to do is type print number equals. And like I said, because this is an integer, we're not using the plus symbol to concatenate the string together. So what I'm going to do is out print what the number is there. But what I can do next is say... Say the type, so the number is a type. So you can say what type of number it is. Is it an integer? Is it a float? Then I'm going to print what the number is when it's multiplied by 2. So number times 2. And that will actually print that out to the screen. So let's make this easier to see for the next one. Sorry. So print. So this time we've got integer equals. So this is a text that will be displayed. Integer. So we'll display the number. Integer is a. We can say what type it is again. And we're going to do the last one. Print. Text equals text. Text is a text. text. And then print. Text to go text turn two. So what I should be able to do now is run that and that's going to show me what it is. It's going to show me the type and then it's going to multiply the number by two. So if I just show you this now, so if I run that it'll ask me to say that. So int string float. So I know that I've used the float for the first one, so I'm going to say 5.5 .5. integer 5 and I'm going to say 4 there. So it tells you what it is. It tells you what the answer is times 2. So you can see what it's done here. Now if I was to run this code again okay, so and put 4 there, you'll notice that all it's done there is actually shown two strings. So it's not actually going to multiply it if you use letters there. And that's just an introduction to using float, int and strings.